2 Peter 1 and 9. But he that lacketh these things is blind and cannot see afar off and have forgotten that he was purged from his old sins. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders, the great millstone. Salutations to the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word of sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War from the GMS New Jersey camp. This one here is going to be a quick hit, straight to the point. This is in 2 Peter chapter 1 and 9, starting at verse 9. It says, But he that lacketh these things is blind and cannot see afar off. What are the things that you lack if you're blind? It's first off is the knowledge. Okay, the true knowledge of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, because without knowledge, you can't have faith. All right, you can't have faith in something you don't know. Okay, so for he that lack of these things is blind and cannot see afar off. So he can't see afar off because he doesn't have the knowledge to know what's afar off, what's to come. All right, it says, and have forgotten that he was purged from his own sins. All right, because you got men who woken up to the truth and they came in with fear and trembling, but now they forgot that they were purged from their old sins because things became, you know, uh, let's say routine. Things became routine. You got used to brothers. All right, you got used to the routine of things, how, how things go. You know, you got lax of days ago. You know, and the Lord said that he that is lukewarm is going to splew you out of his mouth. So let's read it again. But he that lack of these things is blind, showing you that he's blind because he's lack what? Faith. You know, if you're not in tune, all right, and what's and what is going on, especially being a watchman, you know, and you in tune into things of folly, which is things of social media. You know, things that can fulfill the pleasures of the flesh. Then guess what? You're blind. You lack faith. You know? It says it cannot see it far off. So what happens is you start to think of now. You know, maybe you at that age where you feel like, you know, you want to start making money because your situation ain't right for your age. You know that you should be in this position by now. But you may say to yourself, well, being in this truth, I sacrificed so much, I'm lacking, you know, so your mind. Matter of fact, another precept that comes to mind, where well, Yahweh Shai said, wherever your treasure is, that's where your heart will be also, you know. So it says, and have forgotten that he was purged from his old sin. You forgot that the Lord forgave you for the things that you've done in your Gentile frame of mind. You know, especially being an adulterer, you know, the penalty for adultery is uh, is death, you know, that goes for men and it goes for women, too. All right. It says, verse 10, wherefore, the rather brethren give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if ye do these things, ye shall never fall. So Paul's giving us this advice. All right. So Paul is giving us this, uh, this advice and wisdom. Okay, knowledge to know what it is that it takes to be of the hopeful elect. So it says, wherefore, the rather brethren give diligence. You know, giving diligence is, uh, is key. Okay, it shows fear, humility, humbleness, dedication. You know, it shows your passion. It shows forth your faith. Wherefore, the rather brethren give diligence. To make your calling and election sure. Now, bear with me. I wanted to give it a quick Google search. This is the word diligent, careful, and persistent work or effort. So, when you're given diligence, you're careful, all right? You know, you're mindful of what you're doing, you know, what speed you're running at, are you slowing down? Are you balanced? Are you doing too much? Careful and persistent. All right, persistent. Matter of fact, let's see. 
persistent, something that is persistent continues to exist or happen for a long time. Views especially about bad or undesirable mistakes or situations. So something that is persistent continues to exist. Woo! Maybe that's the title of the lesson. All right, let's quick hit. Persistent, continue to exist. You wanna to continue to exist. You know, we're in this truth, you know, like a race. And as the elders say, all right, that this race is not, well, the scriptures say it too, all right, you know, that this race is not given to the swift. This race is sort of like a marathon. It's about enduring. If you can endure all the way to the end. So you got to, you know, be diligent in the seasons because the Lord changes the times and seasons. So things going to change. And that means that's going to be turbulences of waters. You know, water's going to going to rock to and fro. You know, and you got to learn how to surf and ride the wave, so to say. So, you know, something that is persistent continues to exist because what happens is when men not diligent they don't continue to exist they die you know they fade out or happen for a long time all right so it says careful and persistent work or effort it's the work the work that we do teaching the word and the effort we put in you know we're going to get paid back all right with great reward from your how about me how shy for the effort the work and for the persistent and being careful so careful and persistent work or effort diligence all right so let's go wherefore the rather brethren give diligence to make your calling and election sure now we know that the word is given to the lord's elect all right and the elect is going to receive this word and as it's written in romans 11 and 7 or is it 7 and 11 it says what uh, the rest were blinded but the election have obtained it and that's the truth so give diligence to make your calling and election sure for if ye do these things ye shall never fall so how could you fall if you're giving persistent work and effort and being careful all right in the work how could you fall you can only get better and uh to, uh, to give an example to that Let's look at Floyd Mayweather. What was his slow slogan? Hard work, dedication. And that's true. You give, you know, you sacrifice yourself to hard work and dedication for a particular thing, you're gonna be successful. You know, this is what guys who teach as far as money, carnal things, sports, being an athlete, you know, you're gonna be great at, you're gonna be great at. You know, we wanna be great in these scriptures, you know, be the best we can be, whatever the talents the Lord gave us to uh, edify those of the hopeful elect, you know, the men of the Lord has a different calling, okay, than just a normal Israelite that's just out here with talent, God-given talent, you know, to do the things that are of the flesh, you know, the Lord gives the prophets the word they go and teach to the hopeful elect in hopes that they hope they wake up so the Lord can bring the kingdom. All right. So it says, verse 11, for so an entrance shall be ministered unto you abundantly into the everlasting kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah Mashiach. All right, so this is the quick hit. Hope you were edified, you know, motivated, continue to put in that work and effort, persistent, careful. Diligence. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rakakadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders, the great millstone. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Teaching his word of sincerity and truth. Shalom. And pray for balance. Shalom.